Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus and in today's video I'm gonna be making a melodic UK drill beat so I'm thinking Spanish vibes today I just bought myself a new nylon guitar VST I think I'm addicted to buying plugins man I've been spending a lot of money on them recently so if you want to support an addict the links on my drum kits are always in the description but let's get straight into it Alright, so the plugin that I've just bought is Evolution Modern Nylon. This is from Orange Tree LLB put me onto this. And the reason I wanted this VST is because it's got nylon strings. So all the other guitar VSTs that I have, have steel strings. So this is just going to give me a different sound. I feel like this is going to give me more Spanish vibes. And I've got the BPM set to 142 because I want this track to have some bounce. I want it to be quite fast paced. I want it to be exciting. So yeah, I'm going to start with that for now. And let's set a scale for this one because I want to use the harmonic minor scale. So I'm just going to go to here and then select minor harmonic and let's go with d minor we can always change it later and all i'm gonna do here is just draw in some chords so i can just start off with a basic d minor chord for now but what i could do is invert the middle note and then just bring them out maybe a bit quicker and then i want them to come down for the next one so i'm gonna cut the end off maybe come down here and same again i'm just gonna create a chord maybe invert the middle one and that same kind of rhythm Yeah, I like the sound of that. So the trick is to start simple. You just want to start off with some kind of chord progression, some kind of pattern, and then build around that. And then from here, I can just add in some extra notes. I'm just going to go with what sounds good. It might sound good if I just roll it down. Yeah, I think that sounds hard. So maybe I'll do the same again for this one. So that same length. Straight away. Just sounding mad catchy. And I'm going to bring these back just to make it a little bit more realistic. Sometimes the plugin won't let you play notes that overlap because that wouldn't happen in real life. So it helps you keep things realistic. And then I'm going to copy this over and just make a change at the end. Maybe here. Yeah, it sounds mad. So now I've got this, I can copy this one across. And then just at the end, I'm going to add a bit of variation just by coming up like this. Or maybe down with the last one. Yeah, that sounds hard. So I just need to randomize the velocity now. And the only other thing I want to do to make it even more natural is just to move some of the notes individually. That's one mistake I hear with a lot of producers. They'll snap everything to grid, even when they're trying to get a realistic vibe. So the best way I find to do that is just by moving some of the notes individually. So if I hold alt, it's going to temporarily turn off snap to grid. And then I could move some a bit back, some a little bit forward. You just want to go by ear, see what sounds more natural. So once you've done the whole thing, you'll end up with something like this. So now to me, it's just sounding a lot more realistic. All right, so that's sounding sick so far. Now I just want to find a little counter melody to sit on top of that. Maybe I could turn on triplets for this one. Yeah, it's just sounding mad catchy already. Maybe just repeat that coming down and then switch it up here. And then instantly after making this, I'm hearing a trumpet. I think a trumpet will sound sick in this.
Right, so all I did there was create an instrument bus and linked my guitar and trumpet to that. I did RC20 to the instrument bus so I didn't have to apply the same effect twice. And then I just sent that to a reverb bus. So again, I don't have to add reverb to every channel. But now I'm thinking that trumpet might sound sick laid with a flute and then I can have the trumpet pan to one side, the flute to the other. So let's see how it sounds. Yeah, I think that sounds hard. It's just the same pattern too. So one section of the beat will have the trumpets and the flute and then the counter melody for the guitar I might have that for a hook or I don't know I'll find somewhere for it. And what I think I could add now is some kind of Spanish vocal so I'm gonna have a look through Splice see if I can find anything. Alright so I found this vocal. I've sent it to the reverb bus because I wanted to push it to the background. But I think these will be perfect pitched up and then chopped up. So yeah I need to pitch it up 700 cent. It was in G minor but I've just pitched it up to D minor. Yeah, I think that sounds sick with it. Just turn it down a bit more. Maybe I could have this for an intro. And then have a chopped up version. So I've just copied the vocal, I can make this one unique. And this is gonna be the reversed one. So I'm just gonna hit reverse there, and then see if I can chop this up a bit. Maybe this bit here. And then I need one more reverse bit. Yeah, that bit there. So what I'm thinking is to take this bit, maybe bring this bit a little bit back. Yeah, that's going to be a sick drop. And I think I can take this bit instead actually, so it can play like this. Yeah, then this bit. Alright, so I've got the vocals locked down, I've got the counter melody for the guitar, the trumpets and flutes, which are all sounding sick. Now I can start in some drums. Oh, and real quick before I add the drums, if you wanted to know what horn I was using, it's the Sessions Horn Pro one. It's the trumpet 2 in there. Then I'm thinking instead of a counter snare or just a standard hi-hat, I want to use this shake delay hi-hat. So it's basically a shaker, but it's got a bit of delay in it, so it's just going to add to the bounce. So straight away, just getting that simple drill bounce, and then I can find the right pattern. Then maybe two higher pitch ones up here. So chop these the same length. Let's see if this works. But same thing again, just bring the velocity down. And then for the 8 weight, you know what? I haven't actually used the fat and wide 8 weight in a while. Just because I've been using all the ones from the new kit. So I'm going to go back to this one for this 1B. I think it's going to fit the vibe perfect. So I want to make the pattern kind of bouncy. So I want a few short ones. So maybe I can make these two short. I can make these a little bit longer. So that's the pattern I'm hearing. one ghost note before that last one just to add to the bounce once again <laughs> sounding mad and I definitely want to add some more Spanish instruments in this maybe some perks so let's see what we can find alright so I've already got a guitar that's going to be the main thing and a castanet I don't think I've got any of them but I could find one and uh, some bongos yeah I think castanet and bongos that's going to sound sick so for the bongo, I've actually got one in volume 4, which is going to fit perfect. Maybe keep it 
simple. And then for the castanet, I managed to find this sample, but I just need to clean it up a little bit, add some reverb, and it should sound perfect. So I've just sent them to mix the channels as well. They're both sent to the reverb. Yeah, the bounce is crazy. Alright, and I think that's all this beat needs. I've got the guitar, the counter melody, I think the trumpet and the flutes are just sounding sick, the energy's right. I'm definitely getting central C vibes for this one. So as always, I'm just gonna finish mixing it, I'll arrange it properly, probably create one new eight weight pattern, add a couple last minute things, and then I'll show you the outcome. Alright, so the beat's finished, I've mixed everything, I've arranged it, the only thing that I've added is a couple rises as always, a new eight weight pattern, or not even a different pattern, I've just made some chops in one just to add some variation. So I'm just gonna play it and talk you through it all. All right, so like I was saying earlier, I just wanted the guitar and the vocals for the intro. Just because I like the way this N1 transitions into the next part. So I've kept this bit as a hook. The breaks in the 8 away just for variation again. And then we've got the count melody coming in. Well, I've saved space because I took out a few of the vocals. And into the verse. Breaks in the eight weight again. And now the flute and the trumpet come in. But the way they come in there are just sick. And then I've kept the verse kind of short, but then they just added that same bridge. Just because I want it to be quite fast paced this track. Hook again. Let me know who you're hearing on this. I'm definitely hearing Central C. And then back to the verse. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. And just to update you all on the 75k giveaway, I should be announcing it this Thursday if everything goes to plan. So keep a lookout for an email and keep a lookout for the video on YouTube and my post on Instagram at jcactusmusic. I'm going to be announcing all of the details there. It's going to be free for everyone to enter. I'm teaming up with Adam Audio for this one. So I've got some monitors to give away. A lot of drum kits, VSTs, all the usual goodies. So yeah, this one's going to be mad. But yo, thank you all for watching once again and I'll see you next time.